G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. Friday, finally Friday. This week has gone exceptionally quick though for me personally. Monday, Tuesday, uh, Mrs. was away. Um, Wednesday was hump day. Thursday, Friday, zap, gone. Look what I got today, something new, something different. I, I, I picked this up from the Palmer's Island store and it's called, I didn't know what it was called at first. Then I looked at it and it's sober, tropical lager. And then I looked up at the top and it's non-alcoholic. So it comes in at a 375 mil can, 0.5%, uh, so less than 0.5%. Some of these brews, look, I know what a lot of people say, why bother, why this, why that, it's shit, you're paying full price for it. No, I get that, I get that, but you know what? If you're off the beers for a while and you miss having the taste of a beer or you miss a crafty, yeah, I get it, I get it. So let's see what this is like. I'll get into the info in a tick. This will be a quick one. Soba, tropical lager. Ooh, some of these alcohol-free beers have the best cracks on them. Very crisp and loud. So, yeah, alcohol-free pretty much. So you can pretty much just, if you're on bail and drink alcohol, you get one of these in the police station. <laughs> I, I have the worst fucking examples sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like a beer uh, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck. It's probably a duck, but this is an alcohol-free beer. I think it's from uh, Early Heads. At 88 calories, so it's a bit lower on calories, obviously, because no sugars. The sugars have been refined out of a bit of a spiel on the back, which is all crap because it makes sense because you're not half cut. So, sober, tropical level. We'll have a quick sniff and then we'll just have it. It smells, this is going to, it smells like a can of Morgan's multi beer extract that you're about to brew. It does smell very caramel, very lolly like. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm going to go for a drive after this. Look, if you're at a, a social setting, if I was in a social setting or a work setting, I'd probably, I'd go there just because you probably maybe have to some days, fly the flag, have one of these while everyone else is getting silly and getting run over by cars. You'd have a couple of these and go home. It, it, it's got no real backbone or flavour to it. It just tastes like, it tastes like a, look, it's pleasant, but it's got no mouthfeel. No, it, it doesn't room. If you drank that, I wouldn't say that tastes like a beer. I've had better uh, alcohol free beers. The Guinness one's better if you like Guinness, if you like that style. I think that's good. I haven't reviewed it yet. I've got to. Other alcohol free beers, I think the Heineken, Great Northern, no matter what you do with it, tastes like PTSD. The Heineken, and I think it's the Holston. And there's some other good alcohol-free beers. This is like a couple of the craft ones too. Actually, taste a bit nice because they're just hot. They're hoppy. They're just a bit more hoppy. This needs a bit more flavour. Wow. But like I said, if you've got the kids or you got responsibilities and you're smashing down a couple, you know, at nine a.m. having a barbie, why not? Yeah. It's got a place. Look, they're making millions and millions out of it. It's obviously doing all right in some areas. And you know what? Uh, people really sometimes crack on about bad alcohol or non alcoholic beers, probably because of the price. But you know what? If you like it, just do it. It doesn't matter what other people think. I only put my two cents in having a yarn about what I like in beer. Sober, Burley Heads. Is it Burley Heads Brewing? Very gassy. Burley. So, so, oh, okay. Right. So, so, sober beverages. Oh, it's probably owned by someone. I mean, oh, you know what's been one of those days, and, I, and I'm going to go. 
I'm exhausted. I am really tired today. I was talking to, um, what was it the other day? It was the grifter. He rang me and said, you know, he's just tired, 100% tired. I said, yeah, I, I was weary. I said, but today it's got me. The bug's caught on. I've got four weeks of day shifts coming up. Not for a while. I don't know, routine can be good, but I work shift work for a long time, so routine was always a bit crazy. And kudos to all the shift workers out there who have done it for a long time. <clears throat> when I did it for over 24, 25, 20, probably 28 years all up. I did some work when I was a young bloke. That was even shift work. I've worked shift work pretty much my whole life, apart from the last few years. And people don't understand night shift until you've done it. I don't care what you say. You don't understand night shift until you've worked it, worked it a while, like knocking on your door at 8, 9 in the morning. Let's go. I just finished night shift. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <sighs> like, uh, or someone rings you and rings you and rings you. And it's like, I'm off night shift, bro. Like, leave me alone. I'm not used to the day walkers. I just put down a homebrew as well. I put down a, uh, I think this is just a Morgan's Pale Ale. Just the extract in a can. I, I got lazy with brewing lately. I've gone off it a bit. Um, only because it's just, I just haven't had the time. Distilling I do love. It's easier than brewing. And don't worry, I've got a um, a monster uh, energy drink here, which I don't drink a lot of the, the sugar ones, and I put some homemade gin in it. So this is making up for the alcohol-free beer. Yeah, that's better. Ow, <laughs> paid for that. So yeah, and I'll, you know, I've got some. Uh, I'm just going to do a pale ale. I'll just use the standard yeast. It's going to be a pale ale, and I just got a. I got a few bags of um, mosaic, mosaic and citra. I think I chose mosaic and and citra hops, and I'm going to put that in a little bit after halfway of fermentation, and because you get more of the flavours and aromas if you late hop it instead of steeping it and boiling it all out at the start. There's a lot of beers that have those profiles and flavours, but I like the hoppy taste. I haven't been on lagers much lately. I've just gone off lagers. I just find them really, really boring lately. Porters, I've been enjoying a few, but now the weather's getting warmer. I'm just, I'm just a, I'm just an XBA pale ale IPA hazy, hazy, hazy type of guy. And that's what I like. The big gutsy beers. Which this is just, yeah. Well, you can't get angry at it because it's telling you it's just, it's just, you know, I'm boring. I'll leave it at that and I'll upload this and I might have another one later on if I've got one. Like, otherwise it's going to be an early night. Shout out to Gumball R1. Heal up, brother. I've got to get down to Sydney. I want to get down there in the next few weeks, maybe if I can, and um, just get some nice food into me and some nice beers and walk around and just take in the sights of where I was from. Got the missus calling to love each other, take care of each other, be kind to each other. And I will see the next one sober. Yeah, look, I get it, but I don't want it. Bye.